Now, last week on Indiana Arts Desk, we mentioned that Mitchell Place Gallery in Muncie had announced a call for exhibition proposals. This week, we'll look inside the process and values behind the choosing of who gets their work hung in a gallery. Pamela Damaris is the exhibition coordinator for Mitchell Place. She says they are expecting about 50 proposals, out of which perhaps 15 or so will be selected for inclusion in the gallery's calendar this year. So, what sets an accepted proposal apart from the others? For one thing, she says, cohesiveness. What we look for is that someone has an intent and a very specific statement to say about what they're doing, that that this is so important to them that it is carried through in this portfolio or group of images that once they're put on the walls, the viewer comes in and then comes away with this idea or this, you know, new thought about this particular subject. If a body of work expands on a particular notion, Damara says, for example, portraiture, rather than the play of light on a variety of different subjects like pickup trucks, apples, and airplanes, then that more centralized proposal may have a better chance. Another criterion the committee will examine is expert use of the medium, which of course means that the committee has to itself contain people who are expert themselves. If no oil painters are on the committee, then that committee would have a hard time evaluating oils. And what we like to do is have people who are experts or well-versed or knowledgeable in certain media, you know, pick up a few of those, look them over, and then come back and say, wow, you know, this is, this is really well executed. But then they'll say, but then they've taken this medium and pushed it, you know, a little bit further. Other things the committee looks for are solid proposals for use of the gallery space and a resume that shows a dedication to art as well as community activity. And strange as it may sound, Damaris admits, they can't say that only and always the very best proposals are selected for exhibition. First off, there is the gallery's aesthetic bias, what type of work they make it their goal to show. We are contemporary space, and it's not that we look for what, quote, is currently trendy, which you know happens a lot for many galleries, but um, we do want to focus on the contemporary at Mitchell Place Gallery in particular. Also, there is the issue of balance, Damaris adds. If there are eight excellent proposals for digital art, the committee may elect to accept only four of those and to include some less strong proposals for other art media, like encaustic or ceramics. The toughest thing about it is seeing really excellent work and having to say, oh, I hope you'll submit again and we can't take it this year. And I think the toughest thing is, is having to say no to work that you, that is obviously very strong. The deadline for submissions is March 7th. The committee expects to make its decisions shortly after that. Damaris says it's important to be specific on resumes and artist statements in these proposals. And although computer files work as well, for Mitchell Place right now, slides of your work seem to work so much better. And after all, she adds, it's the work that'll make or break any proposal. For more information on the call for entries, visit mitchellplacegallery.homestead.com. Now it's time for the arts calendar.